Missoula, Montana. We're looking at the concept of bollards separating bikes from motor vehicles. In Missoula, we have a couple cycle tracks. That's what this is here. Sidewalk, the bikeway known as a cycle track, then the parking lane, then the travel lanes. These have worked okay. There have been some crashes at this intersection because cyclists are less visible to motor vehicles as you pop out from the track. Now this gives us a little almost simulation. These lines have been repainted, obviously, probably this morning. It's mid-July 2012, early morning. Now bollards, they're, they're sort of posts, can often be decorative keeps motor vehicles out of certain areas. We're on Higgins in downtown Missoula. So bollards are very different than say grade separation which is what a cycle track typically relies on or often it'll have some kind of curbing. You might say a linear separator where these are more vertical separators periodically. An advantage is they can be a lot cheaper. I can fluidly move in and out, although you have to be careful of the bollard themselves. In this case, they're just little rubber cones. A typical bollard is metal maybe a black decorative metal. Fairly common in Europe, especially northern European cities or western European cities. Much less common in the United States. They, they look, bollards, as long as they're not orange cones, can look really, really good. So notice here, we're crossing the Higgins Bridge. They can give a feeling of just a little more comfort and safety. Because a motorist would tend to slow down with a structure being just to their right. Or they move further left so they can go faster. A drawback of a bollard versus no bollard, because as a cyclist, I have to be careful not to hit them. If there's a cyclist in front of me, without the bollard, I can freely pass. With the bollard, I have to look back and make some decisions and could hit the bollard. Now these bollards were probably put down in 15 minutes. You just drop them down and you're done. Most of the time they are permanently attached or physically attached. Nuts and bolts. There's retractable bollards on the MIST YouTube site along with free cycles we have some video of retractable bollards in Portugal. Just took a left off of Higgins. That strip ahead is one of the more dangerous strips in all of Montana with the way the speeds and the lanes are set up. Now we're on a nice neighborhood street. This bike lane here is not really needed on such a low volume street. The city, I believe, is just letting it fade away. So that concludes a little bit on bollards. Send us your thoughts on bike lanes. 
cycle infrastructure, sustainable transportation, and specifically whether or not you like bollards, we appreciate it. Mist at strans.org. Sustainabletransportation.org. It's two ways to get in touch with us. Thank you.